Winter is coming. Demand for energy is skyrocketing day by day. It makes us to burn fossil fuels more and more, affecting environment badly and depleting natural wells more quickly. But how about then? Well, of course we have green energy that we can harvest from nature as well. However, energy storage costs too high, so we cannot store renewable energy easily. Green energy devices like solar panels and wind turbines are shut off when there is no demand because there is no reason for them to work. However, when there is demand, most of these devices cannot provide 100% green energy. We need cheaper energy storage solutions other than expensive batteries. Even though the new solutions are not as effective as chemical batteries. That's why there are many technologies trying to store renewable energy in a cheaper way. One example is gravity batteries that I have built in my previous videos, but it did not justify itself. However, there are still different kinds of technologies to store energy that we haven't heard of yet. For example, we can use simple sand to store energy. <laughs> Using sand? Yes, and make sure to watch the video till the end, as I'll make my portable sand battery in this video. Check if this technology is legit or a scam. No, I'm serious about sand. In fact, there are individuals who have already established a lucrative business in this field. And the best part is, it's incredibly affordable. Take for example the team at Polar Night Energy, a Finnish company that has constructed an enormous facility solely dedicated for storing energy in pure sand. This is not just a sand castle, it's a fully functional battery made entirely out of sand. The concept is simple. Fill a thermally insulated container with the sand and heat it up to 1000 degrees Celsius. That's it! The sand will retain that heat for several months. Now you got the idea. We are not storing electricity in sand, instead we are using it as a thermal battery. The problem with thermal batteries is that you can't hold heat for a long time like you do with electricity in chemical batteries. For example, Swedish company Vattenfall has built 25 meters high and 200 megawatts rated thermal energy storage to store heat in water. The heat storage tank takes 56 million liters of water and it can be stored up to only 98 degrees Celsius for 13 hours. But this door tower can hold 600 degrees Celsius of heat for several months. So definitely, sand is better at keeping heat than water. And you can heat the sand to higher temperatures than water, as water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Well, you might also think that we can use that stored heat to run steam engine or any kind of heat to electricity generators to generate electricity. But it's not simple as you think. Before showing you their method, let me tell about the sponsor of this video, Kadas. They produce an ultra compact minimalistic mini PC, Kadas Mind. Mind is a modular mini powerful PC that will have several plug and play modules for various tasks. This tiny beast only weighs about 433 grams and packs Intel Core i7 with 32 GB of RAM, 1 TB of M2 NVMe SSD, an extra slot for another additional SSD. With this little guy, I could prepare all information for this video, like video scripting, browsing for information about sand battery, even I fully 3D modeled the objects that we are going to 3D print in this video later. It could handle my 3D modeling tasks easily. It's a, such a tiny machine, so you can take it with you in your pocket without turning it off and continue your workflow from where you left as it has internal battery and auto sleep mode. If you think this minimal PC is boring, Kadas makes it fun for you with modular parts that you can attach at its bottom as it provides MindLink interface that is faster even Thunderbolt 4. Currently, they provide Hadas dock with extra peripherals, fingerprint scanner and ergonomic volume knob. Despite 3D modeling with this little PC, I could play several games including Fortnite, CS2 and even GTA 5. But if you want better graphics, Kadas is about to produce a new plug-and-play module with NVIDIA graphics card. Mind's ecosystem allows Kadas to produce more and more plugins that you can use with this little PC, as they are planning to produce models like Mind X Play, Mind Talk and Mind Studio Display. Make sure to check out Hadas Mind by links in video description. Back to the video. When it comes to water, it would be inefficient, as Mr. Yulonen says, the efficiency will decrease to down to 25%, where sand battery's efficiency is up to 95%. So, in order to use the stored energy efficiently, we just need to use heat as heat. 
why only heat? Because if you look at US statistics, you can see that about 25% of electricity produced in 2022 is used for water and space heating only, which is quarter of electricity produced in whole country. And that's not all, because most of the electricity generations are not considered carbon free, because they included sources like natural gas and coal. Still, most of the heat resources for homes is natural gas which includes CO2 emission again. But working principle of this sand heat battery is that you heat the sand with electric heating element using electricity harvested from 100% renewables, such as wind or solar panel. You can heat the sand up to 1000 degrees Celsius, or even higher. As long as it's hot, it stores that hot for a long time. As Polar Night Energy says, best recharging cycle interval is 2 weeks, so it should be able to retain heat for 2 weeks perfectly. And it uses 100% renewable energy and produces zero CO2 emissions. Polar Night Energy heats the air with heating element and blows it to sand tower through pipes during summer with high sunshine. When winter comes, cool air will be blown through sand tower using pipes and sand battery heats the air, which heats the water in air to water exchanger unit. Then you can use it for anything that requires heat, including warming homes, hot water and others. Currently, Polar Night Energy can provide heat storage with 10 MW heating power with a capacity of 1000 MW hour with 50 years of work time. Their prototype is providing heat to 100 homes and even public swimming pool. Well. Is this a scam about dump idea or is it worth to try? For that, I tried to check and mock their technology with some adjustments so we can test if sand can really hold that heat for a long period of time. But my method is a little bit different. There, I've got a big bucket and I made holes at the top of the bucket, then I 3D modeled some air outlets using my new Hadas Mind PC and 3D printed the design using Creality k which was provided by Sane Smart. It's an online shop where you can buy different kinds of 3D printers, desktop CNC machines and other power tools as a DIY maker, because they provide the machines with reasonable price. Thanks to Sane Smart for providing Creality k With it, I could 3D print with high temperature resistant filament ABS easily. So, back to the idea. I have glued a cooling fan on the bucket lid, so once it blows air inside the bucket, air will go out from outlets that we have 3D printed before. I have put some sand to the bottom of the bucket in order to stop temperature and cover it inside the bucket with non each insulation material. I have put thermistor hooked up to ESP microcontroller for temperature monitoring later, so we can calculate the effectiveness and cooling speed of sand to probe the technology. Now, we need a metallic bucket that can stand to high temperature about 500 degrees Celsius. I have put sand in this little bucket, sand was about 4.5 kilograms. So now, time to burn the sand. I used propane gas with a portable stove to heat the sand, but this was one of my mistakes, which I'll tell you later in this video. It took continuous 2 hours to heat the sand. During heating, I realized that sand must be completely moisture free, otherwise first gas will have to dry the sand, then heat it. Naturally, it will take longer to heat. Other take from experiment is that heating the sand from bottom only does not give effective result. We tried to cover it from sideways, but it didn't help, so sand temperature of bottom and top were different. It takes longer to dissipate heat along the sand. So it's better to heat the sand from all sides at once. I think it's the reason why Polar Night Energy uses spiral shaped tube with hot air inside. With these takes from this experiment, I tried to make it in a better way again. This time I tried heating the sand in a little furnace to heat the sand from all sides. With this method, temperature of sand was high enough to test the cooling down speed of sand. I have used two thermistors, one for sand, one for hot air. Now you can see the graph. It took 5 hours for sand to cool down from 200 degrees Celsius to room temperature. And air temperature was stable as well during this time. So, my take from this experiment is that I think sand battery is a pretty nice idea to store the heat. Yes, it's only 5 hours storage, but hey, it was only about 5 kilograms of sand. 
but it doesn't mean one hour per kilogram of sand. Polar Knight Energy uses 100 tons of sand. So if you want me to build bigger prototype of this sand battery with better matrix, just comment your desire and helpful ideas about it. If the video gets enough comments, I also will build the battery with several tons of sand in the next videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos inshallah.